Alice never saw the harm in letting Jack sleep with the foal in the stable. However, the consequences years later proved otherwise. Learning that Jack had run away, panic consumed Alice. She doubted the police's efforts and considered the strange lead a prank. The bus driver held vital information. Jack's presence on the bus was confirmed, but his destination remained a mystery. The police were astonished when they reviewed the bus station cameras. It was undeniably Jack. Why would he be on that bus, going in the opposite direction of his school? The police were clueless, but Jack's parents knew the reason instantly. They couldn't fathom Jack's capability, but they had no choice but to rush in their car, hoping to arrive in time. When Alice was younger, she competed in equestrian competitions and was quite successful. When Alice read about battle horses and what was happening to them, she knew she had to do something. After receiving financial support from those close to her, she was able to start a horse farm where horses are nursed back to health and given a second chance at life. Every day Alice and her husband, Greg did everything in their power to help the horses. Years and years passed, and Greg and Alice could not imagine any other future for themselves. Not even when little boy Jack was born there a perfectly healthy boy who has become obsessed with the horses on the farm over the years. Sam was brought in as a young foal who was severely malnourished and distanced from his mother. He recovered quickly and got better. When he first met little Jack, a special bond was formed. Their bond even went so far that at one point Jack took a nap with Sam in the stable. If Jack wasn't there, Sam would throw such a tantrum that Alice and Greg would bring Jack over. When Jack was six, Alice and Greg had to sell Sam. Even though Sam and Jack had such a good bond, he didn't bode well for Jack to spend his whole life on the horse farm. He needed a place where people could ride him every day and take even better care of him. This news was very difficult for Jack to process. Two years passed and not much had changed at the horse farm. Alice and Greg would tend to any horses that came in. When the horses were grown and healthy, they would be sold and Jack would play with the horses every day. Something about Jack didn't seem right, however. From the moment Sam was sold, something seemed to have changed in Jack. He wasn't the happy little boy he used to be. Alice decided that they should take Jack to the riding school that Sam was being sold to, and when Gray heard their plan, he immediately joined. This would surely make Jack feel better again. However, they only told Jack that they were going away for the weekend but wouldn't tell him where. On Saturday morning, they got into their car for the six-hour drive. Jack still didn't know what was going on. They reached a riding school, and he saw the horses in the fields. He had no idea why they were here. At the very back of the field, he saw a beautiful majestic bay horse, and he knew immediately it was Sam. Without thinking about it, Jack crawled under the fence and ran into the field. When Sam noticed this, he ran straight to Jack. Even after years apart, he still knew who Jack was and all he wanted was to play with him again. Jack and Sam were once again inseparable over the weekend. When it was time to leave, Jack's tears began to flow again. They were glad they went to riding school, and so was Jack. Although he was happy, his tears couldn't be stopped. Days turned into weeks and weeks turned into months as Jack seemed to start feeling better. Alice and Greg had wondered if bringing him back to Sam was a good decision, but once they saw how he felt now, they didn't worry about it anymore. Alice and Greg were so happy to see their son was no longer sad. What they didn't know was that this was about to change. Jack would be spending less and less time at the horse farm and only seeing his parents a few hours a day. It got to a point where Jack was no longer spending time at the horse farm and his parents were too busy to see what was actually going on. During these past few weeks, Jack hatched a plan. He would do something that would shock everyone around him. It all became clear to him as he rode the bus to school the next day. It was around 11 a.m. when Jack's school called Alice and asked if she had seen Jack. They didn't call in sick, so they expected him to be at school. Alice got the shock of her life when she heard that. After a few minutes, Alice pulled herself together and ran to Greg and told her what she had just learned. Greg immediately picked up his phone to call the police, but the police told him they could only report someone missing after 24 hours. Greg was very upset and told police that this was crazy, 
but there was nothing he could do about it. Greg jumped in his car and drove around the neighborhood, hoping to find her son. He drove around for hours, but there was no sign of Jack. The next day, Greg immediately went to the police station to report his son missing. Nevertheless, he was annoyed that this was only possible after one day. He felt like they had wasted a day, but after a lot of paperwork, it was the turn of the full police force. Not much happened in the town where they lived, mostly only small crimes were committed. Something as big as a child's disappearance was unusual. The police began interviewing many people to begin their investigation. Pictures of Jack were shown on the news and in local newspapers with a message to call the police station if anyone saw him. However, days went by and no new leads came in until the police questioned the school bus driver since the day Jack went missing. They went through all the stops because there was no other way Jack could get off the bus before he got to school. When they did, the case got underway. There was only one stop on the way to school. This stop was at the local bus station where buses departed to many different locations around the country. The police officers immediately went to the bus station where Jack may have gotten off the bus. At first glance, the bus station staff didn't think they saw Jack. They had been following the news and if they had seen him, they would have called the police. Just to be sure, the police asked them to check the cameras. After watching the footage for hours, an officer thought he saw someone who looked like Jack. You have rewound and sharpened the image. When they did, they were shocked they placed an image of Jack alongside the footage and could only conclude that this was indeed him. Reviewing the footage, they observed Jack boarding a bus bound for a small village town six hours away. Perplexed, officials couldn't fathom why he would choose such a remote location with vast open fields and little to offer. Desperate for answers, they turned to Jack's parents and stumbled upon Alice and Greg's horse farm. Inquiring about the village's significance, Alice broke down in tears upon hearing its name. Suddenly, everything became clear. The village was the same one they had visited years ago, where San had been sold at the riding school. Without hesitation, Alice and Greg swiftly got into their car and embarked on the six-hour drive to the riding school. Uncertain but determined, they set out on a journey to confirm Jack's whereabouts. Arriving at the riding school, Alice and Greg shared their story with the owners. They searched the fields but found nothing unusual. Just as doubt crept in, a peculiar sight caught their attention. They hurried to Sam's stables and discovered Jack peacefully sleeping beside the horse. Overjoyed, they woke them up and expressed their concerns. The owners insisted on Sam's return, recognizing the strong bond between Jack and the horse. Within a week, Sam returned to the horse farm, thriving and inseparable from Jack, forever reunited as best friends.